morning and welcome to BOTB HQ in Parsons Green, South West London. My name is Christian Williams, presenter here at BOTB. We're here this morning to judge the Dream Car Competition and the Lifestyle Competition running from the 10th to the 16th of June 2019. Just before I hand over to Charlotte, massive congratulations to both of the winners in the competitions last week in the Dream Car Competition, winning a brand new Audi Abt um, SQ5 and £20,000 in cash was Laurie Little when we went up and surprised them in Scotland. And in the Lifestyle Competition, winning the fantastic Divers Cartier watch that we have in the Lifestyle Competition was Ian Bruce. I'm now gonna pass over to Charlotte Houston from Onside Law who will oversee the proceedings this morning. My name's Charlotte Houston from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditors Wilkins Kennedy. I would now like to introduce today's judges and ask them to pick a ball out of the hat to determine their seating position. Peter Georgiou. Good morning, my name's Peter Georgiou. I'm an AFA senior uh, futsal and football referee mentor to Tech Observer. Five. Thank you very much. Hugh. Morning. Morning. Hi, my name's Hugh Gilroy, I'm an active referee, mentor, tutor and observer. That's number one. Thank you. Leo. Morning, Charlotte. Morning. Hello, my name is Leo Donovan, I'm an ex-professional football player, I haven't been with Chelsea, Fulham and Leighton on. Number two. Thank you. Alan. Morning, Charlotte. Morning. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional footballer. I've played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Number three. Thank you very much. Kim. Good morning, Charlotte. Morning. Hello, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for about 30 years. I'm now a referee. I'm becoming a referee secretary. But I've got number four. Thank you very much. And Gareth. Morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Gareth Denis. I'm a senior county referee and a recent retired referee secretary. I have a final one, which is number six. Thank you very much. Okay, judges, please mark on the screen where you think the centre of the ball should be. I will ask you to do this individually for a few minutes before justifying your position. I'll then ask you all to come to a panel decision on the central screen. Okay, judges, if you could now each please individually justify the position of your cross on the screen, starting with Gareth. Thank you. Mine's the red cross here. Um, I'll take the information from both players. Uh, the green player, I think, has been bumped off the ball by probably a you know, blue shirted defender. Uh, he's looking and concentrating hard on the ball, so taking a line up from, from there. This guy, again, looking at the ball, probably going to head it. Uh, I don't think he's just headed it, I think he's about to head it, so I think it's fairly close to him. There is a line here which I agree with my colleagues, but I think it's closer because this eye here, his left one, his right one, I beg your pardon, his right one, it's focused on the ball. So that's where I put my red cross. Thank you very much. Peter, if you can please justify the position of your cross. Yeah, mine's the, the green cross there. Uh, I agree with Gareth that the player in blue is uh, fading for the ball, um, out jumping uh, the player in green. Uh, yeah, very much focused on the, on the ball. His, his uh, forehead is. Ready, uh, is frowned, ready for some impact. But I've gone a little bit more, um, just slightly uh, further away than, than, than Gareth. Uh, uh, the reason being, I've, I've used this guy's uh, eye, eye line there, and where this guy's eye line is crossed, that's where I'll put the centre of the ball with my green crosses. Thank you very much. Hugh, if you please just for your position. Yeah, mine's the blue cross here. Uh, two players in shot, as my colleagues have said. I think this player in green's um, backing in, player in blue's just standing there. I think it's probably in the foreground, um, so it's not actually as close as it looks. But I felt this player was looking up steeply from this guy's neck, there's not too many lines at the back. So I felt he was just looking up slightly to his right, and that's where I placed it there. Thank you very much. Leo, if you could please justify the position of your cross. Yeah. Mine is the orange cross, there's two players in shot, uh, the player in blue for me is going to head this ball, uh, the player in green is just backing into him so he's, he's trying to challenge for it but he's not going to win this ball. I think if you look at the player in blue, he, he looks fairly comfortable to me that he's just going to easily win this header, he, he's, he's above the ground so, and he's above this player so he will win this header. If you look at his eye line, um, I believe he's looking in that direction. 
uh, I always say this, obviously you, have, you use your forehead to hit the ball, so that's why I've gone just there. Thank you very much. Kieran, if you could please justify the position. Yes, I more or less agree with most of my colleagues, but I think this player is player in blue is closest to the ball, and therefore I've taken most of my information from him. I've got his eye line being slightly lower than my colleagues. I think he's got to the top of his jump and he's ready to head the ball. Um, I think the ball is just slightly away from him because his eyes are still open, but I think that he's ready to head the ball at this stage. Although this player is looking steeply upwards, I think the player in blue is the one close to the ball, and that's why I've taken my information from him. Thank you very much. Alan, if you could please justify the position of your cross. Yeah, uh, my cross is the purple one. Uh, yeah, to be honest, in the shots, uh, I agree with most of my colleagues. I think you know the ball is you know on this line. Um, looking on the play, at the play on the on, in, in green actually, um, I think it's looking quite steeply. Uh, you can see the, the white of his eye. You can see he's frowning, and therefore that's why I'm a bit further on the right compared to my colleague. Thank you very much. Judges, please now come to. A panel decision on the central screen. For your reference, the larger white cross is a calculated average of the six individual selections. Hugh, what's going on with Yeah, bang on the average. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. The green and the orange, cut the balance by how that and, and me. Just take mine out and see what it's like without that, because mine's going to point one, it's not on that same line. Just take a line for the through this guy's eye. Okay. Yeah. 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 So which eye do you want? Let's do that one, because that's on that 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 line we all agree with. Mm. You see I think it's down on that, I think it's a little bit lower. That's why I put the line lower. I don't think it's that line. Well, if you use the average, I mean put it put, put it through the through average and see where it looks like. Put no group through, through the group. The blue cross first of all, because that's what the average is, isn't it? The original average shows so with change colour and then blue or something more. Put, put Kieran back in. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Do you have a right? No. I go with the original one to, to the, the lower average when you put Kieran back in. You can think both lines are looking in similar directions. Do you? I think they're looking in different directions. Yeah, I do as well. I think she's looking. I think it's the right, right eye is looking a little lower. And yeah, lower. I do agree, yeah. So I'm not going to do this one. But I think as all five of you are on that straight line there, and I'm below, I think go with that straight line. It doesn't make that significant difference. But you're all, you've all agreed it's from... If you, to, if you do that, it brings it down into... See, I just think if he's obviously going to use his forehead to hit the ball, um, but as he jumped, is he on the floor? Is he just being backed into? As some of the, someone else has said. But I think his neck, up. his neck's tilted back. Yeah, so that's can't what I think. Looking horizontal or lower it needs to be up. Yeah. See, his eye line, I think, is much sharper than, than these two. But yeah, that's, that's my opinion. I, I agree with what you just said. That his, his head is just slightly tilted back. Mm. So that's why I think the ball's a little bit, obviously, on that line. Mm. Well, let's put the ball over it. Let me match it up. I mean, that's good, isn't it? With the ball, this. It works. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It works with both eye lines. It considers all, it considers all the judges' opinions, doesn't it? So we're going to go with that. What about you, Alex? Yeah, no, I think it was with the, with the blue player. Um, I thought the player, the green one, you yeah. know, was looking a bit steeper. Sharp, yeah. yeah, that's why. And the thing is, you know, the, I thought it was like, a, you know, the player in blue was kind of, uh, he was going for a kind of soft header, you know. It's not like he was arching, you know, to, to hit it hard. So, yeah. But... Uh, In saying that, we're all close, aren't we? I mean, there's not much... Yeah. Yeah, that's not a big difference. Yeah. yeah. Are we going to go with that? So, yeah, no, I'm not going to go with the white crosses. Yeah, so take that one off from there. Or the blue crosses as well. Isn't it? Yeah, it's slightly. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, happy. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'd be really happy. Yeah, just like it. Thank you very much. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are 1383 and 811. These coordinates will now be passed to Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winner of the competition and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.